Hey guys, this is your bonus reading for today. It's going to be for everyone, so I want I hope if those if anyone is cross watching, there's going to be a bonus um reading after dark reading for all the signs. Um I just wanted to do this. I was actually thinking about doing this. And this is going to be a different reading. This reading is going to be what is your person doing? So we really are going to get really deep into um the past what you know what's happening now with you what your future holds and also we're going to get into your person's energy too generally this is for like vimeo but um today i was like you know what let me just go ahead and and do this and i'll do this for all the signs for this month but of course when i do vimeo it'll be different readings okay all right virgo let's go ahead let's get into your reading now we're going to go ahead and see what's going on with you what happened in the past with you and your person Let's see what is going on. What happened in the past with Virgo? Okay. All right. So here in the past, I definitely see there has been a lot of hurt, a lot of pain. And the reason why I say this is past because I definitely know that most of you guys have moved on. You see that truck back there? That's how I know that you guys have experienced so much hurt, so much pain, and you're moving on. And the thing is, here with this Empress, um, you know, I, I personally feel that this is the most, uh, probably one of the best cards in the deck. So this is like, you didn't deserve that. You, you, you didn't. But one thing about this card is, if you notice a little boy with a little scrape, even though it was painful, even though it hurt, okay? And I mean, it, it really hurt for a lot of you. It was only a scrape compared to what the universe has in store for you, okay? So your past right now really is the hurt because it's your, what is what you've experienced with this person really isn't dominant in your energy as much, as much as it is the pain, trying to get over the pain. Now, of course, we will look into the energy and see some more, but this, I ha I'm happy to see that it's like considered to be the past, okay? You guys are ready to move on to new and bigger things. And we see that here at the bottom of the deck with the Ace of Pentacles, huge opportunities that are gonna be coming in for you. And this is amazing because some of you guys were married and um, this is a separation of family. Some of you guys are now single mothers, single fathers. Okay, let's go ahead, let's get some more. Here I have the Six of Pentacles. So this is about what you were giving. You've, you've even felt ignored. You were feeling ignored in your connection. You've, you've, you've felt that. You know, um, one thing about the Six of Pentacles is that generally, if you were any t in any kind of relationship, it's about reciprocity. And it was lacking so much here. Even by that three of swords that we saw earlier, you could tell by the pain that she was feeling in her heart that she wasn't getting what she deserved, okay? So this is what you guys are feeling. This is the situation that you guys were, this is what you've been through. A lack of appreciation even, right? From your spouse or from someone that you guys, you know, had so much respect for at one point, okay? Here with the queen of swords, and what did you have to do? Cut it away. Okay. Making plans with friends and family to help you. You know, this is support, getting support from friends and family if need be because, you know, you're trying to get over it. But again, we're talking about past. The reciprocity wasn't there. The appreciation wasn't there. Uh, a lot of this has something to do with being ignored to some degree. It was just hurtful. So now we're going to focus on the present for you here, Virgo. Dear Virgos, let's see. Present for Virgos. Okay. Let's see. At the bottom of the deck, I have the Nine of Wands. Ooh, isn't it interesting? Nine of Wands, what does it talk about generally? It literally talk about the uh, still standing, the, the fire that you've been through. You know, it, it talks about ego. And I, I, I hate to say it because people get this wrong when it's like, I don't have an ego. Everyone has ego. 
And there's a part of um, that there's a part of this nine of wands that kind of represent like why, you know, why why wasn't why why didn't they want me or you know why did why did they do that? This is what this is showing. You see how some of the candles are lit and some are not. It's kind of like what what you wish you had compared to what you have. The flame is being, you know, she's 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 putting the flames in though, but see, this is her doing this. Now it's up to her to light her own fire. Okay. But you know, she's by herself. Okay. So, you know, right now that's where you guys are. You guys are, you know, by yourself, but then you're still standing part of that nine of wands energy with being tired, but you're still standing. Here with the three of wands, this is waiting for things to get better, truly. This is rejuvenation for a lot of you guys, focusing on yourself, um, you know, e waiting even to get over heartbreak. You know, you're like, okay, wait for anything, for things to get better. Yes, yeah, some of you guys are actually still waiting for communication from, from your person from the past or a new person. You're waiting for the real thing. That is what you're doing. You're waiting for the real thing. Here with the judgment. Now, again, this could be, you know, um, you could be waiting for someone to call or message you. Because in this picture, it shows her, a mailman is behind her, okay? And she has a phone in her hand. She's waiting on some type of message, a text, something. And again, I'm, this doesn't have to be for a particular person, but you're waiting for news. You're waiting for someone to come in to give you what you deserve because you know what you've put out in the universe here with the Six of Pentacles. You know what you've done, right? Here with the Nine of Pentacles. I like this. This is like being single, being by yourself, of course, right now. But you're 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 minding your own, right? <laughs> minding your business, taking care of what you need to take care of. I definitely do see that here. Okay. I mean, this is you know, nine of pentacles talk about you know, even though you're by yourself, there's no destitute feeling. It's like, okay, I got it. Some of you guys may be feeling like that, but this is getting your business together. You know, your funds, your money being able to be independent without that support that some of you guys were having that you had in your marriage. And if you weren't married, this is just getting up. Just how, how does, I forgot. Oh, one of the guys I looked at, um, and they're like motivational speaker. I think it's like getting your weight up. Right. <laughs> and I thought that was funny because it just talks about your value within yourself. What do you value within yourself? So that's what you're doing here with the nine of pentacles. You're by yourself and everything is, is getting pulled together. Okay, this is this is being free from everything. Here is the emperor. Hmm. Now this is interesting because this is all this always represents. And I'm not saying this is always, but this does represent. You know, um, in your energy, there is someone here who wants to communicate, who wants to come in and say something to you. Now that is for some, not for everyone. Okay, this is why personal readings are so good. <laughs> Okay, to have because, you know, I was trying to include, you know, new and past. So let's say if this was new, you know, the, the judgment call talks about something being awakened in you, something to be, that's being awakened in general in your life. So this person coming in, making an announcement, telling you, hey, I like you. Okay. And like I've said before, you are waiting for that announcement. You're waiting for that phone call. You're waiting for someone to walk up to you and say, hey, do you want to go out? That's what this, this is what I'm saying. This is in your present energy. Okay. And this is what will happen soon. This is a picture here. This is a window. So we're going to go ahead and see here what your future holds for you, Virgo. Future for Virgo. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Something fell on the floor. <laughs> Sorry, guys. All right. So here I have Strength card. I have the Hermit card. So to me, right now, this is only short term. Don't don't fret. <laughs> okay. But this does, you know, show me that you guys at this moment, okay, in the future, which means tomorrow, time is fluid, future for next week, 
It is fluid. Being able to, to be strong enough to be alone until that time comes for your person to come in. Okay. I'll get one more. I'll get one more. Oh, wow. Look at this. I promise you. I promise. Look. Ace of Cups. Nine of Cups. Seven of Pentacles. Six of Cups. I, you cannot make this up. Did you hear me when I was like, let me go further. Because this was everything. That is true and right and righteous. I'm telling you, spirit hit it. And I knew that was correct. But I'm like, no, that's not it. Because Virgo wants to know what's my future. Because we see it here. And have this not been your reading? This is love. Not just little love. This is the Ace of Cups. This is a soulmate, six of cups. It doesn't matter who it is. This is investing, investment, okay? This is the, you know, what is it? Uh, uh, the, the fruit is ripe for the picking. This is your wish fulfillment with the nine of cups. I cannot make this up. And I, I just had a feeling to keep going because I just... That, that last part, I'm like, I know what it is, but Virgo is not going to be happy with that, <laughs> okay? Because that's not what we've been saying. But this is what it is. And then look at what's at the bottom of the deck. The world. So this is truly a new beginning, a successful beginning. And look at this. She's by herself. Like, she's the only one in color. She's happy. People are seeing her for who she is. It's amazing. It's awesome. And doesn't that look like the Nine of Pentacles? This is going to be you. And it's easier for the person who's right for you to see you among the crowd full of thousands of people. That is what this is about. So Virgo, um, I know I said I was going to get your, your person's energy. Um, let me, it's weird because it's like, what if it's a new person? It's kind of hard for me to do that. And I don't really necessarily, I'm sorry, I keep on shaking the table. I don't want to really focus on the past. So right now I'm not going to do that. I'll have that separate where it's like if you guys are worried about your past or you're thinking about your past, if you want to do that, you guys can put it in the comment section. But I, I want to focus on this because this is like, it, it ended too sweet. It is, <laughs> it is amazing. So this is your bonus reading. This is your uh, Virgo, Dear Virgo, After Dark reading. I think it is absolutely amazing. Like I, I just did this off the whim. I, didn't, I was just like, let me just see what I can do. But this is amazing. So Virgos, I love you guys so much. Thank you again for being so awesome and wonderful and everything right and true. Um, again, if you guys are new, please like and subscribe. And I will see you guys back here again tomorrow. Bye, guys.